I am very happy that we are full. Wow. Wow. St. Bernadette's. I was telling uh, Father Ignacio before the Mass, I said the renovation of the house is so nice. It's a great place for me to retire. Yes. Wow, that would be great. Anyway, the Holy Father doesn't want that just yet. So, um, so we, are, we are gathered in the, the name of the Lord Jesus Christ together. And we come from really all parts of the world. Uh, and in a very real way, it is his love which brings us here. Entonces, estamos reunidos en in, in el amor de Jesucristo. Y vengamos por todos lados del mundo, pero aquí estamos para celebrar el amor de Cristo. So Jesus, in a, in a very real way, is, is who it's about. It's about him. It's about our love for him. It's about us sharing in our love for him. And it's about, in a very real way, us becoming one with Him. Es un día de Jesucristo en realidad. Un día en que recordamos que tenemos parte con Él en su vida. Y con Él tenemos la vida y la promesa de vida eterna. So the promise that we have, each of us, is really spoken in the Word of God. And we first heard in the, the prophet Ezekiel that the Lord would literally take somebody that you can almost image a skeleton, and as he places flesh on that person, that he also breathes his spirit into the body of the person. Now that's meant to represent us and God's love creating us, God's love helping us to, to really come to life. Entonces, en el profeta Ezequiel, uh, recordamos que Dios es nuestro creador, y con Dios tenemos nuestras vidas, y por la respiración de Dios tenemos el Espíritu de Dios en cada uno de nosotros. And so, Jesus, in a very special way, is the sign of God's love for us. And that's why St. Paul to the Romans in his letter today to the Romans uh, speaks to us about the Spirit, and it's a Spirit calling us out of darkness into light. A Spirit that calls us to really have our lives focused on what matters, and that is the resurrection. That's the resurrection. Uh, while there is cro the cross in our lives, it's about the resurrection. So San Pablo in su libro de, de los Romanos nos recuerda que, que en realidad uh, Jesucristo es el símbolo para nosotros del amor de Dios y Él nos ha dado su Espíritu. Y ese es un espíritu de la resurrección. Y en cada cosa en nuestras vidas, la resurrección es la cosa más importante. So we pray in a very special way that we have a special awareness this morning of the resurrection of Jesus. That no matter what's going on in our lives, it's about the spirit of the resurrection. So no matter what's taking place in our marriages or in our families or in our work, whatever it may be, it's really about the resurrection and Jesus sharing his love for us in that way, to rise from the dead. And so, uh, recordamos por las palabras de San Pablo que en realidad es la resurrección que es central en nuestras vidas. Entonces, de cualquier cosa que está pasando en nuestras vidas o cualquier cosa que está pasando en nuestros matrimonios o en nuestro trabajo, en realidad es sobre Cristo. Y tenemos, tenemos que tener nuestros ojos en Él, en la resurrección de Él. And so that brings us to the gospel, which also speaks to us about the resurrection. And Lazarus being raised from the dead by Jesus was cherished so much by the church of St. John especially 
that they recorded it for us to be proclaimed this morning. And you got to think about that. Lazarus rising from the dead. Jesus saying to Lazarus, Lazarus, come forth. He'd been in a tomb four days, and he rose from the dead. That is a powerful promise that God gives to each of us of faith. Nos recordamos en el Evangelio de San Juan eh, la historia de Lázaro cuando Cristo uh, dijo que Lázaro, véngase del tumba y, y era un momento de la resurrección, un símbolo de la resurrección, la promesa para cada uno de nosotros. And so in a very real way, it's about the spirit of the resurrection for us. Jesus loving us in that way, Jesus giving us the promise of rising from the dead. And that's really what our baptisms have been about. As we are baptized in Christ Jesus, we are baptized into his death, that as we rise out of the water, we rise with him to new life. That's the promise. This is it in en las palabras de Cristo, cada uno de nosotros que, que morimos en el bautismo, también tenemos un momento de la resurrección. Cuando salgamos del agua, tenemos un momento de la promesa para cada uno de nosotros que vamos a resucitar con él. And so in a very real way, that's the promise. That's the promise. And you can imagine Lazarus sitting down for dinner with Jesus, Martha, and Mary, and the other disciples. He was dead. They knew he was dead. And here, they're eating dinner with him. In many ways, that's what we're doing now. Jesus, who died on the cross for us, and now is risen from the dead, shares with us in a very real way himself. Crucified for us, but risen from the dead for us. To say to us, death has no more power over us. Cuando celebramos la Grecia, es un momento en que celebramos en realidad la cena de Jesucristo. La cena de Cristo, muerto por la cruz, pero también resucitado, resucitado. Y estamos, cuando acercamos el altar, estamos acercados de nuestro Señor que está, de que está pidiendo que todos nosotros también recibimos, recibimos la gracia de resucitar con Él. So finally, Jesus gives us Himself in his body and his blood as we consecrate the bread and the wine. And so when we approach the altar, that's a moment for us to share in the body and blood of Jesus, and it is the body and blood that becomes one with our body and blood. We become Jesus. Jesus crucified, yes, but Jesus also risen from the dead. That's my best Spanish for you. <laughs> Cuando recibimos el Cristo en la comunión, es un momento en que no solamente encontramos Él, pero Él será parte de nuestro cuerpo, parte de nuestra vida, parte de nuestro espíritu. Es un momento en que encontramos el Cristo crucificado, pero también resucitar. Entonces, seamos desde el momento de recibirlo como gente de la resurrección, gente de Jesucristo. So as we receive his body and his blood, we are transformed into people of the resurrection. That's us. That's us. Let's pray for that grace during this Eucharist. Rezamos para esta gracia durante esta Eucaristía. Amén.